Uh, well, I know people, some of the, for the younger people, they use, do you all use stuff like Instagram, I think? Yeah. Is that a popular one? Yeah. Instagram has a lot of pictures or whatever. All right, Facebook, that's, that's still very popular or not? Yes? A lot of people still use it for communication. So you need to choose the, the right medium for the, for the communication. So scoping is critical. There's also something else in scoping which we call scope creep. And what happens is, as the project develops, as projects develop, what tends to happen is that we want to do this and all, and we want to do an additional thing, and we want to keep adding on things. The problem with that is that you will get nothing done. You all there? You're going to frustrate yourself. So my advice in terms of scoping a project is scope limited to one or two little things. Get that done, and then build the confidence to do other projects. You all there? Um, me, as a younger person, I was not a very confident person. I could not stand up and talk like how I do now. Right? I'd be very hard up to when I was about 32, 33. I couldn't stand up in front of a group and speak in an effective manner. I still have problems with it, sort of. <laughs> right? um, but it is something that would come with practice and as you build confidence in yourself. You all there? Now, if you don't have confidence in you, don't expect anybody else to have confidence in you. So you need to, to build that confidence. Start with some smaller projects. The fundraising I'll talk about, because this one seems to be a problem with other people. What other issues we had, apart from the scoping and setting up the initial things? So I'll give you all a, a couple of things, yes. Sorry? The leader. Yeah, yeah. Right. So we have communication issues with the executive. Who who is the executive? The project supervisor. So like like you would have a um, I guess a supervisory committee that you all reported to and advise on the You're supposed to have a person who was part of the CMN or Oh. And you're supposed to Yeah, because yeah. what you would find, especially where you have... We have um, some but because of the back and forth, things came to our court, you know, and So you didn't have lack of effective communication, right? So give me an example of an area where you all did not get, um, like, communicated on with something that you needed advice on. For example, well, that was critical. Well, from the start, essentially, um, we were asked to uh, um, suggest or, or request um, for a supervisor. Mm -hmm. So we requested one by name um, to offer a school statement that we have submitted. Right? And it was never initiated after the one uh, we had that we just proposed that we wanted to um, do our area for the supervisor. We did so, we got, we got the talent, but then um, it was not a hand over to someone else because of the issues, and then there was yeah. a back and forth as to our objectives. And we weren't sure which of them were the part of the objective we So you needed to clarify stuff like your objectives, maybe you needed to get feedback on the scope, stuff so like we, that? We, we got it at that with person because of when we used to fundraise, that was right. That is, that was yeah, part of the part of the part of the part of the part Oh, sorry, the down payments. Down payments of pay. We had facilitators in waiting to do the job, so we were far. The only time we got in contact with them was because. So, what was the arrangement? They were supposed to help you out with the funding? Right, we were the entire project, but we we were told that we were going to be from letters to uh -huh. funding and to ask for the Okay, 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 okay. So you all in your plan, you had, a, you had an approach for the funding, right. and you all were executing. Yeah, many approaches, right. many approaches, right? She, our person, we approach was just at that point in time to add another aspect of each one to cover all bases, and the project was refined at that point in time. 
All right. So communication issues, yeah. How many times I could, I mean, I could speak for myself, right? I, I busy like almost 100 percent. So even like if people have to call me and I would say to brother call, send me an email, right? Um, and I would try to respond. I usually respond in the night when I have a, a free minute or something like that. Because usually if you try to reach me, they are out lecturing or in meetings or dealing with matters. But yeah, once you have these projects going, um, you will need um, advice on some of the aspects. Um, to my mind, you need to make sure that your scope is correct. All right, your approach for funding is the right one. And once you could guarantee that, then you could run with the, you know, the projects um, fairly efficiently. So, so communication issues. Sorry. Yeah. I'd like to add um, that the issue that Zaina and Abraham are facing their group um, for us was part of a larger issue, which was really the commitment of the persons in the group. So there are lots of challenges getting participation and various activities. Things that were assigned were not followed through. Things not getting done, right? Mm -hmm. There was so, also a. All right, so, so one is um, assignments. getting done. So usually with, with these projects, you'd usually appoint somebody who is uh, what we call like a project manager in, from the group. And they would be responsible. They, they need to be a strong person in terms of committed to getting that project done. And also strong in terms of following up to make sure that people do what they're supposed to do. You all there? And so if the, pro if the project is not, um, things are not getting done, they have to follow up with the person, if that is not working out, then you need to get additional person or different people on board. Or maybe you might need to outsource certain aspects of the project, stuff like that. So for this one, usually with the assignments and the follow-up on it, you normally need to have one person in the group who is like a project manager, effectively following up on the work to be done, the assignments, if it's getting done, if it's not getting done. If it's not getting done, how do we need to resource differently? How do we need, do we need to outsource part of the work, stuff like that? Now the, pro the problem with a lot of these projects is that everybody on the team needs to be on board. Because here what, if you don't believe in it, you're not going to get it done. That's why I told you all from the very beginning, when you're scoping, before you even scope, you need to make sure you have the right people or your target who you're actually doing the work with. You actually work out with them. The scope and you have some of those same people involved in your committee. When you're resourcing your project, like your team members, you need to have the right mix of skills. Or else if you don't have the right mix of skills, you have to go outside and actually get that. You all there? So sometimes some people are not appropriate for groups. In groups, you're going to have a lot of group dynamics, right? With any teamwork, and usually what you all require to have is some training in dealing with the group dynamics, how to handle matters, stuff like that. You need to be a little bit diplomatic. Right? In terms of our, my experience, our experience, we don't help that um, we face that problem in the sense that the group we had, we really severely underestimated the time available for each person to be effective. Right. So that, that is another thing. A lot of the times, the deadline set, especially with new startup groups, tends to be unreasonable. You all there? So this one here, in terms of the assignments getting done, on time, the issue is you need to have um, a project manager or a team leader, right? Usually we call them a project manager. And their role really is to, and this is a lot of work, is to follow up. They need to be heavily committed or invested to the project. They are like the champion then basically, right? Their role is to follow up and make sure and ensure um, who has it? So usually, like, if I do a project plan, it would have, well, these are the different responsibilities. This is the, the realistic deadline date by which it should be done. This is another column. You're going to put who is responsible for it, right? And then the manager, whoever is the project manager, should be following up either on a weekly, depending on the criticality of the activity, they need to be following up on a weekly basis or whatever to make sure 
that the thing is getting done. If it cannot get done, then how do we discuss with the team? How do we resource differently to get that, that thing actually done? You heard me?